It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Houston Texans and the Detroit Lions. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Call it Motown, call it the Motor City. To Lions fans, this is home. Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Good to be in the booth with Greg Olson. I'm Mike Tirico. Greg, this is a passing league. You know that from your days. It's evolved even more into a game in the air. And boy, do we have a couple of quarterbacks who know all about moving their team via the pass. Yeah, and I think we're going to see this ball thrown early and often throughout the game. And anyone who loves offensive football, this is certainly a treat. And you said it, Mike. This league has turned more and more with each passing season into a passing league. If you can't throw, if you can't generate points through the air and explosive plays, it is going to be very difficult to compete and win week in and week out in today's modern NFL. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from Ford Field. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Lions led by Jared Goff, chanting his name during the playoffs in 2023 in Detroit. Far cry from the trade from the Rams to the Lions, second in the league in passing a season ago. Truth be told, we might be talking about one of the most disrespected quarterbacks in the entire NFL. I mean, he's constantly talked about as if he's some fringe NFL starter, despite the fact, Mike, that he's been the focal point for a team that has completely turned things around since his arrival. Now, I don't know if we would classify him as this like elite super talent, but there's no denying this guy is a winner, and if he's under center, you got a great chance. Great way to start the drop. A gain of 20 and a first down. Nice first down pickup there by Sam Laporta, the second year tight end out of Iowa. And you talk about having a breakout rookie campaign, Mike. I mean, to make the Pro Bowl as a rookie at the tight end position is no easy feat. He kind of burst onto the scene as the Lions found themselves in the NFC Championship. I had a chance this summer to spend some time. No chance at all. He'll go down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. And what do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. On second down, Goff. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Third and long. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. Now, deep shot for Amon Ra. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by the rookie out of Southern California. And the Texans are going to get it back here just past the 35. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Texans come out with the rookie of the year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? 
he comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. the play fake. Here's Stroud. Right back to Dell. He's got it again. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. On first down, it's Stroud. That's into the hands of Dell on the right side. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. Well, there's fast starts, Mike, and then there's this. It just seems like it's completion after completion, and now they find themselves in plus territory. Every team has their fringe red zone down to their red zone plan, and once you cross midfield, you got to be thinking six at the worst three, but you're coming away with points. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Man acquired by trade in the offseason. It's Joe Mixon. He'll take this forward for about a yard at best. That's Carlton Davis bringing an end to that one. Here's second and nine. Here's a toss, right side to Mixon. He's going to force his way for a yard or two, but looks like this one's going to be coming back. That's on the former first-round pick, Titus Howard. On second down, Stroud. Digs on the reception. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. He'll go right back to Diggs. He's got it again. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This from 40 yards out. Fairbairn's kick is good. And the Texans will take a 3-0 lead. So, just a lone field goal in the first quarter of play. 3 0 is our score. And we are back to the Motor City in a moment. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. To return, it's Khalil Dorsey. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Lions offense going to take over now for the second time. The offense is a little slow to start percolating. 3-0 the score as they begin this drive with a first and 10.
They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Here's the first carry for the Iowa State Cyclone. David Montgomery. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. That's Henry Toto on the tackle. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Patrick motioning here. Throwing on second down. Goff. This one complete to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route runner. Certain guys just have a better field for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Set to go now on first and ten. Goff with the give to Montgomery. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. A second down throw for Goff. A throw complete to Tim Patrick. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. From the gun, it's gone. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. On fourth down, here comes Jack Fox to kick it away. As they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And this is going to work out for them. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Texans offense ready for their second possession. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Look at that. Slinged it across his body and connected. Second down throw for Stroud. He's got his man. That's Nico Collins. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. First and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. To play corner in this league, Mike, you have to have great reactions and instincts. In this case, he trusts those instincts from the jump and he's able to send the offense going backwards as a result. Throwing on second down, Stroud. That's into the hands of Diggs. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield.
On first and ten, here's Stroud. A dive and a catch! Incredible! That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one, good for 13 yards. So, Mike, you look back at the quarterback and you see that this ball is coming out of his hand and it's going to be low. And the decision's made. You've got to go down to the ground to secure the catch. First order of business. Your hands are between the ground and the ball, no matter what that looks like. And then once you secure it, you've got to roll, protect the ball, and under no circumstances can that ball move or hit the ground. I mean, how often do we see a great catch overturned on replay so it's not easy but you get paid to catch them all can be fair baron coming on to try the field goal this from an even 50 yards out he is two for two that kick is good and the texans gonna tack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half and that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Final second now of this first half as this one is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. Here's first and 10. To throw is gone. So just a couple of field goals through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our score at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tarico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. This will be returned from the six. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Texans' offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They work with a six-point advantage as they start this drive on first and ten. Here's Stroud. He'll get this over the middle to Diggs. And he's got this up close to the 35-yard line. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. They'll run on first down with Mixon. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. You know, Mike, early in my time in Carolina, we were kind of on the forefront of this NFL zone read revolution. Cam Newton, one of the best to ever do it. I have seen up close and personal, when you run the zone read the right way, it is a nightmare for a defense to defend. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. 
The defense all over that. Met him in the backfield, stopped in his tracks, and it sets up fourth down. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. So fourth down, and it's the former chief, Tommy Townsend, to punt for Houston. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. The Lions offense ready for their first possession of this second half. The deficit, six points. A touchdown here would be mighty nice for the offense. See what they can do on this drive. First and ten. They move Laporta, sending him in motion. Goff to throw on first down. He's got Laporta open on the left side. Terrific starter there. Gain of 15 and a first down. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. He connects with St. Brown. And they'll have it across midfield, down at the opposing 46-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run-after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And... These drag routes can be very, very effective. Right back to St. Brown. They connect again. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Finally seems that this offense has found their rhythm after what's been a really slow first two quarters. They're hopeful that this series can be the spark. They continue to be efficient in the passing game and go finish this drive. Now the second-year man out of Alabama, Jameer Gibbs. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. Williams in motion. On play action. Goff to the right side. That's St. Brown. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. That's not the type of play that's going to end up on a lot of end-of-the-season highlight reels, Mike. But listen, sometimes those little check-down crossers produce some positive plays, stay ahead of the chains. So, points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. A big play looming here. They need to convert. It is third and inches. Out of the shotgun. It's gone. He'll get this one complete to St. Brown. How about four catches on this drive alone? Time to change the defense. This one gets him another first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? This is hot. Toward the side of the end zone. Amon Ra, St. Brown. Touchdown, Lions. The game tying touchdown here in the fourth quarter and a chance to take the lead with the point after. Mike, the sideline's going crazy with that late score, but they still need this extra point to take the lead here and see if they can hang on to this fourth quarter lead.
Not going for two. They'll kick the point after. The kick is good. Important one as they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. The deficit is one as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. First down, it's Stroud. Digs on the reception. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. On second down, Stroud. Trying the right side. Taken in by Collins. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. Stroud to throw here on first down. That's complete to Diggs. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come up for second and two. They'll run. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Noise reverberating off the roof. Very loud before third down. They'll drop to throw. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. He got loose after the grab, and they couldn't bring him down. A gain of 28. This pass defense, it, it just has to be better than this, Mike. They have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages. Seems like they got a little lazy. They got locked in on maybe one or two of the offensive targets. They have to play their defense exactly according to the plan. Because if not, this quarterback has enough weapons. He can spread the ball out and find the open space. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll come up now for second down. They go with Mixon. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. The Lions call their first timeout. They'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Getting hard to hear in here. The noise very loud from the crowd. Third and three. Here's Mixon. And he's got nowhere to go. The defensive front gets throwing a lot of scrimmage there. And that is going to bring up fourth down.
So now it's Jamie Fairbairn in a pressure situation. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So, after the field goal to take the lead, kicker is back out there to send this one away. Here's Craig Reynolds to return. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. That's Amon Ross St. Brown and the rest of the Detroit offense heading out for their next possession. And he's looking to finish strong. He has been unquestionably the star of the show as they have just absolutely had no answer on the defensive side of the ball. They'll come up for first and ten. From the gun, it's Goff. That's caught by Gibbs. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Off the play fake, here's Goff. And he's going to slide to a stop and avoid the contact. But since he started there, he's still shy of the first down. Here's a big one. This third down. Goff to throw. That one on target to Williams. He's got it. First time they've looked his way all game long. But he comes through with the grab and a first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Goff going to throw here on first and ten. That's a short one caught by Laporta. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. So now a big spot coming here. This a potential game winner. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here. And the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds to go. So now, out comes the field goal unit in this pressure spot. This one, he's got to have. This one has plenty of leg. And it is good. And they take the lead in the final minute of this game. Well, there's no more pressure-filled spot for a kicker than that one right here, Mike. I mean, it's very simple. You make it, you win. You miss it, you lose. And what's he do? He comes through to not only give his team the lead, but most likely the victory. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Texans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
From the gun, here's Stroud. That's over the middle and caught by Dell. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is first and ten. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. And he's brought down, but they are out of timeouts. So now it's Jaime Fairbairn in a pressure situation. This to win the game. And this one is off the mark. It is no good. And the missed kick is going to cost them the game. And you just can't help but feel for a guy in this situation, Mike. I mean, he's got a chance to be the hero. His guys get him down there, put him in position to win the game here late. But he couldn't convert. It's a lonely feeling walking off that field. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Lions, as we say so long from downtown Detroit.